Jaquay is back with us today from his home in Greensboro, North Carolina. Good to see you. You're joining us live with a smile on your face, quite the opposite of how I've been feeling, Jaquay. I have cried, um, and I'm getting misty-eyed now because I feel so guilty that you were let go from your job as a police officer. We talked behind the scenes and on camera, and you'd express so much pride in being a police officer and so much pride in trying to build a relationship between your community and your department. And when I heard you'd been fired um, after the show had aired, it was on in the police department, um, the episode, and you came back in. What was the reaction immediately from the folks there watching? So previously when, so the video was shown when I was out on live patrol and it was actually showed in the records because the Tamara Hall show plays inside the police headquarters. You know, it's a bunch of ladies that watch it in records. So when I came back into the police station, it just seemed like all eyes were, you know, our eyes were on me and things like that. But the response I got from the other officers was, you did what was right. You stood on what you needed to stand on. You were under investigation before the appearance on the show for using your social media to post that impassioned plea about George Floyd and, and what 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 had happened did you was it a combination of what did the, I, i'm still struggling to understand why i get being reprimanded the social media policy but it seems so severe of a reaction knowing your intentions yeah um so when a george floyd video was posted it went viral really fast i was called to internal affairs and I guess it reached it reached them, and they told me that I shouldn't be posting in uniform, take your videos down. So literally after I left the office, I took the videos down, and I mean, but the so social media just took the videos and it went to new heights. And you appeared on our show not in uniform, and you had your hearing in August, and in the end, they decided to terminate your employment. Was that surreal for you? Yeah, it was really surreal because I felt like I worked really hard for something and it was just snatched away from me. You know, like I enjoy what I was doing as far as like helping the community or whatnot. But when they took it away from me, it was, you know, it was a, it was a shock. You've launched your own business or launching your business. Yeah. So, yeah. So I've always been an entrepreneur at heart. So what happened was previously maybe three months before everything happened, I opened up a hot dog food cart, and right now I'm actually getting a hot dog food trailer built as we speak right now. So that should be available to me, like, in the next month. Okay, that is a big turn. You, I mean, you're, you, you go from being the officer in blue to your own hot dog car. How, how's business? Business is great. Oh, Business I love it. You know what? Okay, I'm not going to cry for you now. The pivot is real. I love it. You know, I tell people the pivot will come. Sometimes it'll be a painful experience, and you have to be ready for it because it is always going to come. And you pivot it, and business is good, and your trailer, you're building that now. Are, are you on, like, one corner? Yeah. Do you move? Do you drive yeah, around? So, so, so I have uh, certain spots that I go to, like certain spots that I have contracts with, uh, you know, a couple of different places or whatnot, establishments. And right now, business was so good that I literally reached out to the trailer to the trailer uh, company yeah. and had them start to build my trailer. Cause all right. It's like the time is now. The time is now. Well, you need to put all your locations that you're going to be. I'm going to retweet you and share all your locations on my social media. And I fully expect a free hot dog because other than hamburger, I eat a hot dog probably every day. <laughs> well, congratulations. I am still very sad that the police department there didn't see the value in you, but you see the value in yourself. And that's what matters. Thank you, Jaquay. Wishing you nothing but the best.